unfortunately, the platforms, the innovation is mostly driven by what we call the global north. Um, there's not as much innovation in developing countries, although I must say there are some companies here in South Africa that's doing incredible work. The smart technology era is impacting everything we do. We're talking about things like the brain computer interface technology, which is no longer science fiction. So artificial intelligence is actually a term for a whole ecosystem of technologies. It's not really a thing, a single thing. It is like all tools we humans have created, by its very nature, neutral. I wonder, because I do a lot of work with university students, uh, teaching MBA classes on the practical application of this new era of technology in business. Passionate about it. And to your point, I think most of the discourse about AI and technology is about the tech. It's driven by technologists, very smart people, and we absolutely need them. Or it's driven by academics uh, in a very academic way. But, you know, sometimes for me, it's just to sit down, take a breath and say, but what is this doing to people? AI and its advancement will make privacy constantly a, a bigger challenge to, to make sure that we secure our personal data and that of our children. But the temptation here is to override what makes our democracy work in light of how urgent this issue is. So that balancing act is but then I would rather say, let's move a little slower and make sure we include everyone because we're such a diverse country than lean more toward an Orwellian kind of world where we don't care what you think, we're just going to legislate this and get it over and done with.